So welcome to this video where we will continue with the MAC protocols and we will discuss some basic static access strategies. So the purpose of this video is for you to understand fundamental access strategies for the MAC layer. So uh, we are talking about here static channel allocation. So the idea is that we are dividing all the available capacity into often equally sized portions where each user is assigned one portion. So if we have n users, we are splitting the channel into n portions. Uh, in this way, we can avoid in interference between the different users. Um, there are different ways of doing it. One is SDMA, so that is space division multiple access. So basically, we are dividing our capacity based on space. Um, so that could be that we have um, a cell structure in a, in a larger network, and we are dividing the segment space into sectors where each, each, each sector will have a different antenna. So this is based on the cell structure, basically splitting it up in cells. Time division multiple axis. Here we are assigning the fixed sending frequency to, to a transmission channel between a sender and a receiver for a certain amount of time. So that's why we call it time division, because you're basically dividing it into different time slots. Um, the challenge with time division multiple access is basically that we need some kind of synchronization in order to do it. So everyone who is sharing at the time also has to agree on what time it is. As a last point, we have frequency division multiple access, where we assign a certain frequency to a transmission channel between a sender and a receiver. Now the challenge with this is that we need kind of more frequency stability than we do for, for making time division multiple access. And then the question for you, is static allocation efficient? Take two seconds to think about this question. And the answer, of course, is it depends. Because static allocation can be good if we have a low number of users, and usually if the, if the traffic or the period of traffic is known in advance. So if you know uh, who will be needing the medium at which time, then static allocation can be efficient. However, if we have many users with sporadic traffic, or if we have bursted traffic, then the static allocation uh, is considered to be inefficient, because many users will have a time slot which they are not really able to use. Uh, and that's a waste of capacity. So the question is, how can we, for example, improve the static time division multiple access? Well, there are different allocation strategies that we can think into. One is the fixed assignment, but making the slot assignment according to average demand. So if we know that some users will be needing it more than others, then we can uh, assign it accordingly. We can also move closer to the uh, dynamic assignments and doing dynamic assignment within T TDMA to find out the actual demand and then assign slots accordingly. So uh, on the fly, we kind of figure out what is the demand and then we can assign the slots for it. Then finally, we have what could be called the perfect scheduling, where we know the demand on beforehand. So because we know the, the demand, then we can also assign the time slots accordingly. Of course, this is, how, this is a hypothetical scheme, because we don't know this uh, usually on demand or on beforehand. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for listening.